M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos learning the mesh tastic system and different devices. So I've got this new case made by Zero Fox 3D. Okay, and what I like about it is it acts like a base, it looks like a base station case when it's all assembled. And you can get it with, uh, to, with a battery adapter to hold one of these type batteries. So that means there's a lot of room in the back. So I've taken the battery out because as you know, we can buy slimline batteries like these as well. Because I thought I'm going to turn this into my super mesh-tastic device by adding GPS. Now, if you look here, we've got a GPS lock on my Heltec version 3. Now, Heltec version 3s do not come with, a G with GPS. They come without GPS. But you can buy a GPS antenna and this board that is required to control it. Not for very much, about six pound. Now, there is a couple of wires you need to solder. So let me show you that now. So if we look at the board facing me, you can see we've got a GPS lock. And on the left, nearer the USB connector. Now, normally I'd be powering it with a battery, but my battery was flat. But it will charge up from the USB. So on the left outer connector, there is the black wire soldered. And I've done it on this side because otherwise it gets in the way of the cover of the, you know, of the case. And on the right hand side, there's a red one. OK, then if we turn it over and on here, there are pins. Let's go right round. I know it's wires everywhere. Try and move them down. You've got pins 47 and 48. OK, and follow the colors. If you can find wires with the same colors. So, but if we're going to look at the markings on this board here that you get, they do sort of explain themselves really. So on the green, you've got TX. On the yellow, you've got RX. Then you've got voltage, which says VCC on the left, and you've got ground on the right, which is black. So red, yellow, green, black. Okay, and that's the board that is connected to the GPS antenna. Uh, which is then giving me my, you know, my signal. Which I like, because I do like to go out and about mobile with my device. And I do get a kick from just seeing, I hope, I'm sorry it's a bit blurry, from seeing my location. That's my friend M6LSJ calling me. We're always playing around with our different um, techie devices. Anyway, so what the plan is now is to get all of this, yeah, the antenna, the board, everything. I might even have to cut the board down because it looks like it might be a bit too big. Into this case, this cover fits on the back here, like so. And yes, I've got the Mesh Tastic app running in the background and then we've got, this is gonna go at the front. And, and we, it does come with a power switch, but I don't think I need it because I can use, I can use this item here. So let's just start to piece it together. And remember, you don't have to have a, your, this case to do this, but I want my, you know, my zero 3D case, or my best case, which uh, they're only about 18 pound to, uh, to do it. And then looking at the, if we go back and look at the, my app there, you can see that, you know, we've got a couple of things coming in, but I'm inside the shack. Do you know what I mean? I'm not gonna get much in here, uh, but just go through now. One thing to remember is when you set up, if you go to three dots here, go to radio configuration, go to position, go up, and you do need to enable GPS, okay, enabled, but also go further. You do need to enable re redefine GPS receive pin, TX pin, and you need to select 48 for the RX and 47 for the ticks and those pins are marked on the actual on the board so that's part of the configuration but really once you've done that you're ready to go so let me just start to piece this into the case uh, and then let's see how nice it looks at the end and we might even go upstairs with my i've got quite a big antenna here i do have a base station antenna outside as well um see if we get a couple of uh couple of maybe not contacts but we might receive something Okay, so we've tucked the, the larger board in there at the back and poked the battery through as well. It's sticking out the back at the moment. We need to get the antenna through that hole 
And as far as I can see, we need to go underneath this black line here. Okay, and that black line is quite important because it holds, let's get some better light on this. It's got the shape there that holds the Heltec, see the pointy end board. So that's quite important that we keep that. And then we're gonna push everything into place. You could do make the wires shorter if you need to as well. There's the battery at the back there and the GPS antenna poking out the back. See how well it does through the plastic. Okay, so we've got the board in place. We've tucked it all through. We did bend them over. Probably better to solder these wires straight to that other board because the, these take quite a lot of room. There's our antenna again. And we, yeah, we've got our antenna connected. So now it's just a matter of pushing the front in and trying to get the battery, the module, and the antenna in. I'm not sure if all of it will go in, but let's just see. All right, so the front's all pushed into place. Clip the front on. Where the wires solder on the back of the board, the sort of yellow and green wire, just keep it, I would say, nearer the center of the board because it does go right against the outer part. And when you're pushing the front in, because it's quite precision measured, it, if you want it to shut flush, you don't want that get, getting in the way. And um, we haven't got a switch on my particular battery, so I just put a grommet there where the switch would go. You know, I could fit a switch, but that, that's what I've been doing. So we've got the front on. We just made sure the battery's connected and charging, which it is. Cup of tea on the go. Ham tech, a mug from my wife. So now we got to get, we've got this room where the battery used to go. See it all in there? Quite a lot of room. So it's just a matter of we now need to get this battery, the antenna and everything in there. Uh, without any, sh without shorting anything out as well. And I would say, see the four pins that are connected, it definitely makes sense to just solder them because then it's going to fit a lot easier. But I won't do it right now, but that's what, because otherwise these will keep coming off. I've had to bend them over just to get it in there. So uh, that's what I advise, just um, solder them to the, to the pins. Okay, the board's in there. Now we're going to just plonk the battery and there's plenty of room for the battery. I probably would advise a separation between the battery and the outer case. Just a piece of um, material, I would say, like a spit of sponge. Uh, and then you know that the battery is not going to rattle around. And also it's going to be protected from touching anything you don't want it to touch. See if I can find anything. So we've got to for some bubble wrap. There's our battery, quite a decent battery. Push the rear case on. Okay, it says the battery was flat. Right, so it's all go, we just turn it back on. The buttons are working. I'm just gonna see if we get a GPS lock now. It did take a few minutes last time. That's my old battery there, and look, this is my GPS booster that I use. About 15 pound, but it really helps get a good signal inside this shack um, and that's connected to my external GPS antenna. So if we go upstairs in the loft, hopefully we'll get some signals. I'm just waiting for that. It's still saying no GPS lock at the moment. I'm just waiting patiently. There you go. We now have a lock. So. This is what the what we wanted. We just wanted a, a nice compact unit with a decent antenna, which we've got here. Now, of course, we can connect an external antenna. That one's uh, needs to be a bit stronger. But anyway, um, when if we want, we can refit a switch. Uh, if we look from behind, nice, neat job. And that's it. So the case is made by 3D Fox, there you are, Zero Fox 3D. And uh, lots of options for buying. Let's have a quick look while we're here. And that, yeah, there's a bit of a wait on these at the moment because many have sold out. Uh, quite a few to choose from. K 
case. I'm trying to see if there's one there that's actually for the uh, for a GPS module. Products. Let's go to products. Let's touch stick. They're very popular. You can buy the three D print files. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my channel. Seven three.